Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon. So be sure to text READY TO BUY, that's READY TO BUY, to the number on the screen. Starting pricing for low-end software $100 and starting pricing for high-end software $500. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal's buyer's protection guarantee. All right, fuck it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Frank in Tampa has his hand up. What's up, Frank? Karis Knopflin. What's up? Uh, Carson Knopflin said, Lori Harvey splits. Joe Button gets beat up. Yeah, I did hear about those two things, right? Lori Harvey was with, I don't know, somebody else again. And Joe Button, what happened? He got beat up at a strip club. Why does, ugh, I don't understand going to strip clubs like obsessively like that. Like, why would you do that and feel proud about it and all of this type of shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm not really into either one of those shits. Listen, let's talk about... Let's talk about this Gaza Strip, man. Let's talk about this war... This so-called war in the Gaza Strip between so-called Israel and the Palestinians. Now, Everybody knows that this, well, you should know. That this, you know, conflict has been going on since, what, 1947, 1948, around there. Um, basically... Some people that you have to refer to as Zionists. See, Zionism and, and so-called Judaism are two different things. But it appears that people who are Zionists will hide behind the banner of Judaism. Um in order to do whatever they want the fuck to do. So you have Zionists that go into Palestine and basically through military force to declare it as Israel. And yes, through the Balfour Agreement. Um, and over time, basically systematically kill and drive out millions of people out of their homeland um, with some sort of fake assertion that this is your land. <clears throat> you have certain Orthodox Jewish people that don't even acknowledge the state of Israel because to them, real Jewish people are not supposed to have a homeland until 
their Messiah comes back. Until their Messiah comes back, no homeland for you guys. So this so-called Israel is not even co-signed by many Orthodox Jews. And we know that the real Jews are, are the original man. We know this. I'm just talking in terms of the people that they are calling Jewish today. And when we say Jewish, we know what ish means. So the Jewish, um, these people don't even co-sign with Israel and all that. But now here's the thing. <clears throat> so I don't know what the exact date was because, you know, I'm not trying to enshrine this in my mind like, some 9-11 shit but they're trying to act like this is their 9-11 now israel is one of the most secure countries in the world it has one of the most secure borders in the world if a fly farts at the border of Israel it would be shot on sight so please tell me how people were able to scale the walls parachute over the walls Proceed to attack and kidnap people for hours with no response? Israel is a military nation. They pride themselves on their military. They pride themselves on their military innovations. You know where the Glock was created and invented? Israel. Yes, this ladies and gentlemen appears to be a planned genocide. From the day these Zionists stepped foot into Palestine, their objective was to exterminate the Palestinian people to drive them into the sea, into the river, to make sure that there were none left. They went from having a whole country to having a sliver, a sliver of a place to live, which is basically an open air prison. Thank you, Clyde, New York. <clears throat> 007, appreciate you. Which is basically an open air prison that is mostly populated by children. They said 50% of the population of the Gaza Strip is children. That's why we're seeing so many dead babies and children. Um being bombed and killed. Yes, this was a 100% false flag op. Ain't no way 
people was getting over that border unless people let them get over that border. And what would, like, think about it. If you were Hamas, right? Even if you were dumb enough to plan some shit like that and these people stood down, right? And just let you do your little stupid ass plan. You knew what the retaliation would be. Why would you do that? Why would you do something like that, knowing that the repercussions would be so great on your people that so many innocent people would be murdered? Why would you even... Why would that even be a strategic? It doesn't even make sense to me, yo. It doesn't even make sense. And then you had all these lies coming out. You had, you had our own president lying, talking about he saw footage of babies' heads getting chopped off and all this lying ass shit. Like, Come on, man. And then he had to take that shit back. Because the nigga was lying. Yeah, I got me a new brand Nubian hoodie. Little new peace sign hoodie with the, with the joint on the sleeve and all that. You know what I mean? With the brand Nubian hat if you want yours. You see the link running at the bottom. Um, this is this is a genocide, and they're just like <clears throat> trying to justify it. Like, I don't believe and believe that that was real. That shit felt like some Antifa shit. Like, whoever these fake people were who attacked the shit and so-called hauled women off and were raping them and all. Like, come on, man. Really? Really? Now we just, now we just barbarically hauling women off and just raping them. Like, like this is like Genghis Khan times or some shit like that. Like they're trying to act like these people are so savage that whatever they do to these people must be justified because when they start throwing shit out like that i am dj cool rod he said no blunt tonight lord well i smoked me a nice l before this um i'm talking you know i'll smoke after this i'm good right now um Exactly. Thank you, David Sawyer. He said, yeah, come on. Remember World War II? How can you justify a genocide when you were a part of one? When you were a victim of so-called genocide, and now you're going to turn around and do this to another group of people. It's, uh, this is crazy, man. 
Well, so, they, somebody said they're trying to play out the Bible. Some say that they're trying to spark uh, World War III off of this, that they want to make it so bad that, you know, it becomes a world war and then they have to get rid of the sovereignty of all these different nations and combine to make a one world government. And like, please understand that these psychopaths have this whole one world thing in mind. And, you know, the jab, all those different things are part of the steps towards trying to globalize some shit. This whole fake shit with acting like now they want to admit that aliens exist and all that's all part of it too. Um, please don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, my people. Um, because this is another, I mean, this is, and this is so fucking fake. Like, did y'all see the fake newscast where like, you got people laying down, acting like they're getting bombed. Meanwhile, people are just driving by on their bikes and shit. Like, like, we live in a crazy fucking world, yo. We live in a crazy world. Yes. White people are terrified of becoming a minority and will do anything and everything to try to stop that from happening. Mo get it said, yeah, that front porch performance was fire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. That's right. Propaganda is legal thanks to Obama. Oh, there's a lot of bullshit thanks to Obama. Nah, it ain't been no once every three months. Knock it off, Vic. Stop that. I try to come, you know, I was trying to come on weekly before, but, you know, life was getting in the way, man. Things was happening, man. You know what I mean? I was going out to the hospital every other day type of shit. You know what I mean? Shit was crazy, man. Taking a lot of time and energy, you know? Um, but I'm here right now. I'm here. And I got you. I appreciate you, Vic. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. We'll, I'll be back stepping it up. And yeah, I got to you're right, at least once. I don't I didn't think it was no three months. I ain't been gone no three months, have I? It ain't been that long. I feel like it's been three weeks, maybe. It's been some weeks, but it ain't been no damn three months, my brother. Unless I'm bugging. Unless time is flying like that. Well, listen, everybody, if you just join in, make sure you uh, click that like button. Um, click share. The motherfuckers come on in if they want. Um, one Music Fest, Janet Jackson. That was something. Ed Lover's set was crazy. Oh, that was a, that was a dope-ass set. I think some of y'all might have saw the picture or little clips of some of all the legends that was there. Brand Nubian, Dead Prez, Black Sheep, fucking Nice and Smooth, fucking um, KRS-One, fucking, oh man, it was crazy. It was crazy. Mo, get it. Thank you. Said so this behalf, 
on behalf of Vic. And yes, it's been quite a while, sir. Welcome back. Ah, wait, quite a while, Mo. Get it? Does that mean three months? Huh? No, not three months. I see this. This show. Mm, oh, this means y'all love me. Three weeks feels like three months to y'all. Aww. Aww. That's so nice. That's so sweet. I appreciate y'all. No, for real. Thank you. But I know. She said, yes, at least two months. Wow. Okay. Okay. My bad. Yes, Dead Prez is still around. Vic said, hey, Mo. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, if, if anybody knows about Israel and especially its military and their defenses and just how that whole shit was locked down. You'll know there was no way that they could have fucking had some attack like this. There's no way. And especially without an immediate response, like they were doing this for three hours or some shit like that. Like, nah, nah, nah. That was the justification. That's all that was. So, shout out to the uh, Palestinian people, man. You know. And shout out to the to the to the good people who's not down with Zionism. Who's not down with the Zionists. You know, to the to the to the Jewish people over there that are not buying this bullshit knows that there's no way in hell that a motherfucker was just scaling walls and all that bullshit. Oh, come on, man! Stop it! I'm glad y'all like that front porch joint. See, I'm I'm a good judge of I I just saw that I saw that shit not long ago and I was like, yo, this kind of remind me of Tiny Desk, but this shit is I, I like it more because it seemed more like some hood shit and it was more black. These are black musicians. So, yo, they just happened to reach out and I'm like and I'm already knowing. I'm like, yo, yeah, this is some shit we need to do. If we in the area, we need to do it. You know what I mean? And shit, me and Poobah was in the area, you know. Daddy X couldn't make it. That's why he wasn't there. You know, he had to work. And uh, yeah, we did the damn thing. You know what I mean? And that was unrehearsed we didn't have no rehearsal with these dudes or nothing like that like we just told them what songs we wanted to do and you know i guess they rehearsed amongst themselves but we showed up that day and just did the damn thing you know what i mean and all of that shit was spontaneous and we didn't do no bunch of takes because it started raining and all kind of shit out there you know what i mean so what you see is what we did. You know what I mean? We just ran through all of that shit with just one take. One take, one take Joe. Just ran right through that shit. But uh, that shit was dope, man. Shout out to Ryan. Shout out to Nucci. Shout out to all the musicians out there. Um, motherfuckers was playing their ass off in the rain. They didn't let it stop. Yo, shit was dope. Um, Again. I encourage you to, you know, watch our episode, watch up other episodes they have and up upcoming episodes. Cause watch, I'm telling you, we don't now that we did it, now you're gonna see the floodgates open. 
and you're going to see even more credible people want to go on there and do the damn thing. But just remember, you know what I mean, who was the ones that really made that shit some shit that niggas want to fuck with. He said, was that my grandson on the porch? No, that was Poobah's son, actually. That's Poobah's youngest son. That was him on the porch singing, don't let him go to your head, no. My grandson is only like three years old. So, yeah. Oh, well, listen, um, do we got anything else y'all wants to talk about? Because if not, I think I'm about to get up out of here, man. Go smoke me a L. <laughs> like was suggested by one of y'all. Is Poobah's son still rapping? You're damn right he is. Shout out Stunner Gang. Do I have any favorite strains? Nope. Just just gas. Whatever's gas. Oh, DJ Envy? I mean, we're going to see how this shit plays out. Um, apparently, the guy sees a pen, yeah? You know? It's a pen in the ass. <laughs> He's a pen your ass. Um, now nah, we, we're gonna see how it plays out. I don't think DJ MV has been arrested or anything like that, like Homeboy was. Um, he's claiming that he wasn't even a part of some of these deals, so we'll we'll see. I know he definitely helped give him credibility, though. You know what I mean? Like he definitely did that. Uh, if he's guilty of anything, he's guilty of helping to legitimize a guy that you know maybe he should have did a little more due diligence as far as vetting him you know i don't know but um we'll see how it all plays out you know what i mean we'll see how it plays out latoya logan peace i see you what's good yeah, you're late. I'm up, man. Well, I'm almost out of here. Unless you got some sort of. Oh, uh, no, no. David Sawyer said, how do I feel about the Zionist control over hip hop and the drill beefing or funding of these artists? Is it just money or a greater underhanded genocide? I uh, saw so that, man. Like. I don't feel good about no nobody you know what i mean trying to control black people and then human beings um for any type of nefarious cause um yeah we know we we know who's doing it you know we are identifying them with different names different um, different tags. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we're the ones that either accept it or reject it, you know? So a lot of us are just willingly accepting, accepting shit. Who was a former police? NB is not former police. His dad was a police, though. So he's got that on his side. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, yes. Yo, we want to send our love and our positive energy and our healing energy out to our brother Royal Flush. Peace to my brother Flush. Um, recently a GoFundMe was put up, um, for 
a apparently uh, our brother has a rare form of cancer. And a GoFundMe was put up to help him, uh, which I guess, which I guess, um, connects to what we were talking about earlier with Nas with the um with the whatchamacallit with the paid in full foundation how we were talking about um you know rappers needing health care and things of that nature um here i'm gonna go right about now i'm going to put the link to flush's gofundme in the chat right now so you can see and donate To the brother. And there's the page. Royal Flush's courageous fight to conquer cancer. Okay, the God has raised $26,399 of a goal to get $300,000. Now, see, that's a lot of love right there, man. That's a lot of love, $26,000, but we can do better. We can do better. We're going to get we're gonna get our brother to his goal. Um, yes, let's, let's, let's help brother get to his goal of $300,000. Because we know hip hop ain't got these, uh, we ain't got no unions, we ain't got no health insurance and all that type of shit. Thank you, KB Play. He said the strike is over. Do you have any acting projects coming up? Um, I mean, now that the strike is over, I'm sure auditions will start coming back and stuff like that. But no, I don't have anything on that side. But I plan on making some of my own shit, man. <laughs> I'm going to start writing my own shit and directing and doing shit like that. Watch. The Stax family loves you, LJ, God's chosen one. Thank you. Thank you, Stax family. Appreciate you. Um, yeah. Thank everybody for your... Uh, For your add-ons, you know. That's right. Royal Flush, the governor of Queens. Champagne Flush. Always love whenever I see that brother. Always respect. Real recognize real, you heard. Um. So, yeah, let's support our brother. And do what we can. You know what I mean? Every little bit counts. $5, $10, $20, whatever you could do, um, do it. You know what I mean? I'll make sure I, I do my part. 
when I get right when I get off of here. <clears throat> um so like I said, I put the link is in Oh, I, I, I thought maybe I could pin it or something. Yeah, but the link is in the uh it's in the chat. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And uh, we're going to do what we got to do. All right. I think my time is up for tonight. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Uncle Ma, am I still on the PlayStation? Yes, I am. Although I haven't been playing like that. <laughs> I've probably been off of that longer than I've been off of this. Um, but PUBG is my game. That's the only game I play. So uh, you want to look me up on a PlayStation. My name is Quick Draw McGraw on that motherfucker. Um, go check me out and, uh, yeah, maybe we'll pop some guns off together and you'll see But your man's nice on there too. You mean like, God damn, this, this motherfucker just talented in all things. <laughs>